Hello everyone, welcome to Material Science. Today we're going to talk about Miller planar indices. Uh, basically the way to define these are as these are reciprocals. Reciprocals, make sure I spell that correctly. Of the intercepts, the intercepts, intercepts along x, y, y, and z axes, axis. So uh, these are actually pretty simple. If you've never worked uh, with planar indices, they're actually almost easier than directional indices. So what you do first is you set up a chart of x, y, and z, because normally what your professor will do will give you something along the lines of a to b, and C. If you haven't seen uh, Miller indices before, uh, A, B, and C are basically the sides of a cube. And I'll go ahead and draw that right now. You have a cube over here, which is basically a three-dimensional coordinate system, is how we're defining this. Uh, kind of a rough cube. Draw out the side here, X, Y, and Z. I'm going to go ahead and draw the dotted coordinate system back here just so you can kind of see it. See where the origin is. So the origin is back here on the back of the cube. And you're given A, B, and C. In this case, A is the X direction, B is the Y direction, and C is the Z direction on this cube. So what you want to do when you're given these values is you want to go ahead and take the magnitudes of them because you don't need the A, B, and C. So we'll just do that. These are the magnitudes. I'll write that out here for you. Magnitudes. From there, you want to take the reciprocal. Reciprocal. Since these are the reciprocal of the intercepts along the x, y, and z. So 1, 1 half, because the reciprocal of 1, if it's an equation, 1 over 1, flip it, it's still 1 over 1. 1 half, and then 1 again. And then you want to basically normalize this to make sure you don't have any fractions, be, fractions because Miller indices shouldn't have any fractions in them ever. So in this case, we have a common denominator, 2. So we'll multiply through by 2. And you'll end up with 2, 1, and 2. And so for planar indices, planar, uh, Miller planar indices, the way you denote this is with parentheses and no commas. If you watch one of my previous videos, Point indices have parentheses and commas, but the way you differentiate between planar indices and point indices is whether there are commas or not. Planar has no commas, points do have commas. Okay, so these are the point indices, or the Miller, plan or <laughs> Miller planar indices, sorry about that. Now, what you probably wanna know is how the heck do you actually plot this? Because your prof professor is probably gonna make you do that at some point or another. So the base, basically what you want to do is just take these values right here. This is the thing with many of the Miller indices. The Miller indice itself does not really help you. It, uh, yeah, it just doesn't help you. <laughs> so what we're going to go ahead and do is using this in the x direction, we have a value of one. So you're going to go ahead and do that because that's the intersection of the plane with the x is at one. And then going out in the y direction, the y direction is actually a little bit trickier. And so I'm going to skip over to the z, and the z is over here at 1, 2. Actually, I grabbed the wrong one over here. You're supposed to look at the magnitudes for this. Although the reciprocal, the reciprocal can kind of help you too. The y intercept is actually located right here so that you have a plane going from here to halfway to there. Okay, so here's why you have out here on Y, the intercept right here. If you're looking at this, you'll see that the plane intercepts the Y axis out here at two. So if you were to extend basically this line, the line of the plane out here, it would intercept the Y axis out here. But since we're working on a unit sphere, it has to intercept at one half. So that's why the plane is drawn right here. The, the corner of the plane is drawn halfway along the A axis because it's actually extending out here to Y, but you can't see it. 
So you have to visualize this beyond the cube if you possibly can. So each one of these defines, each one of these values defines where the plane intercepts that axis. It intercepts x, the x-axis at one, the z-axis at one, and the y-axis way out here at two. So two, uh, two one, half, one over two then is one half in this unit system. That's not the same as the reciprocal. Right here, you were lucky with this reciprocal. You can kind of use it and you could sort of almost get away with it, but I recommend not doing that, just being very clear in how you're defining the plane. All right.